And a crash in Antelope sent two people to the hospital. Two cars were involved in the crash just before 7 o'clock last night. Here you see the aftermath. One person was ejected. The other had to be extricated. This all happened near Alverta Road and Pinefield Drive. North CHP is investigating what caused this crash. And a look at Interstate 80 at Kingvale. More fresh snow for the Sierra. Chain controls are in effect for the interstate as well as Highway 50. Let's go over to meteorologist Tamara Berg. And I was in the lower foothills this morning driving to work, and I had a little rainfall on me. Yeah, you know, there's this little wave going through right now, and it's also prompting that snow level to drop down even close to around 2,000 feet. Let me spotlight Interstate 80, where currently we had a couple of snowed out showers dashing uh, down just east of Auburn really about an hour ago. And now you're seeing most of that snow from Cisco all the way up the hill across Donner Summit and then along Highway 50, watching that band extend here. Some of the higher elevations there of Plasville may be getting a few flakes, definitely seeing some flakes right now as you get into uh, areas like Camino and Pollock Pines. So yeah, just be prepared for that this morning. Now in the valley, yeah, you may have a couple of sprinkles, a few drops here and there, but no measurable rainfall is expected today. Instead, we'll turn the focus over into the afternoon, into these gusty winds and bright sunshine. Winds today coming up out of the northwest in that range of 15 to 20 miles an hour. We could have gusts in the range of 25 to 30, especially beyond about noontime all the way through early evening. I think once the sun goes down tonight, those winds will ease up and then we're making our way into a cold morning by tomorrow. I'll talk about that coming up in just a bit, too. All right, thank you. And that's what we're following today here on KCRA 3.